Good morning, boo-boos. What it do, do, do. I'm Diddy Love. Drop down and hit like, subscribe, and share if you care. I came here real quick. I want to have, I, I just want to get my opinion on some topics real fast. Okay. First topic is this whole race topic and who's black and who's not. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't, I don't have nothing for that lady this heat. However, I don't know if she's lying or not. But how y'all going to tell somebody with an actual black mama they ain't black, but yet y'all said Cardi B black? Cardi B black? Right. People identify as what they want to identify as. Because I'm going to tell you right now, Dominicans don't think they're black. And Dominicans are darker than me. All right. A lot of them are darker than me. I look I look Dominican. Okay. I could pass for Dominican. Right. But they don't think they're black. Mm -mm. Also, I think it's what you identify as and what you look like. Because I saw this white woman with these two little boys and they were her kids, but they black. They're black because they look black. But then I had... Uh, another uh, extended family member who is um, biracial, everybody black, but she's white. Her mother's black, but she's clearly white. So it's what you look like. Halle Berry said that her mother told her to look in the mirror and, and who do you see? Then that's what you identify as. And Halle Berry's mom is white, but Halle Berry identifies as black. Correct. But in reality, they should have their own box that says biracial because I'm both. Who cares <laughs> what also is crazy is how we'll say things like i can't allow a, a non-black person to say these things but the reality is that nobody should be saying a lot of the things that are being said we are out of line to say it's okay for us to say some shit but it's not okay for an, uh, a non-black person to say it when we're being disrespectful either fucking way i'm trying to get these boots together okay it's too much for y'all anyway um yeah so, you know, we're out of line. So it's okay for us to disrespect each other, but ain't nobody else going to disrespect us. We sound crazy. No, how about we just stop being disrespectful? Because I'm going to tell you, nobody hates black people more than black people. Nobody hates black people more than black people. It's a shame, but we need to do better. So y'all got to go over to watch Jay Dunn, like I said, Pettyville, um, Allie the Sag. Allie is up this morning speaking in drunk tongue. Okay, don't think she ain't drunk this morning, y'all. Let me tell you something. When she said in what not, and then she kept saying, my, my, my inner, my, my ninja, my ninja, my ninja. I'm glad that Jay Dunn shut her down and asked her to stop saying it. But that's drunk lingo. She sounds just like my drunk cousin who be drunk all the time. Those are his favorite words. I was rolling over here listening to that. And then sh my issue with her is she be talking all slow to people. Like, people's is really slow. Like, who are you talking to? She said she got resources and all this other bullshit. And I heard that this Ali the Sage woman gave Pizarro $2,000. $2,000. Say it in the tone of when y'all y'all remember one baby boy when they were like, $40. $2,000. Okay. If it's two fifty dollars and I think it's too much, I'll be like, $40. Uh, I love that line. Mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah. So um, that's wild. And what else is wild on here? I don't know if y'all know who Eat With Philly Phil is, right? She's being sued by Miss Robbie, but that's not the story, y'all. She got a daughter that's 40-something years old that she put up for adoption. Her name is that B. Nicole. B. Nicole on here. And they got fucking YouTube beef. YouTube beef. Restraining orders. I don't know. I didn't get the whole gist of this shit. That's what I'm saying. Y'all got to go look it up and watch it yourselves. Yes. Adopted mother. The mother put the girl up for adoption 40 something years ago. I don't know if they just reconnected on YouTube. But that shit is deep. That's deep. And then the, and, and Philly Phil don't like this girl. She don't like the daughter. She don't want nothing to do with the daughter. This shouldn't be on YouTube. This is disgusting. It's sad. And, you know, as a mother, if I had given my child up for adoption and my child found me 40-something years later, I don't give a damn what the circumstances were. Oh, but I do know the circumstances. Wait a minute. Let me. Okay, so this is what I had said first. I said, I don't give a damn what the circumstances was. That's still my child, and I love them regardless, and I stand by that. I don't give a fuck what the circumstances is. You know people who have babies from rape victims. 
and they love that child. They have those babies. Some people do, some people don't, but some people do, and it's fine, right? But get this shit, y'all. This is allegedly because I don't know. I heard this on somebody, some man channel who been who who I don't think he'd like. You know, he 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 putting all the shit out there. Anyway, I can't remember his name because y'all need to go to his channel too. But tell me why. He said the real reason why, this is what he said, not me, and allegedly, okay, I don't know, true or not. Y'all got to go find it for yourself. I'm, I'm clearly stating I don't know. I don't have all the details. That this Philly Phil woman, the, the father of this, the daughter is her uncle because he claims that they were sleeping together, dating. Like, they were in a relationship. I don't know if this, this is true or not, but this is what's being said. And y'all need to go check it out. I mean, that's really, that shit is real. That's real life drama. This ain't no made-up bullshit. This is real. That's real shit. So, like I said, it's Eat With Philly Phil. She's a mug banger. And her daughter, B. Nicole. And just put that in. And, and, and all the other videos will pop up underneath. Because I don't really know those people. I just, you know, I've been through over there and I watch some of their stuff. But... That's tragic. That shit should not be playing out on YouTube. Oh my God. I could not even imagine because there's so many angles to that. And then on top of that, like I said, Philly Phil is being sued by Ms. Robbie over that uh, Tim Norman trial, which is crazy considering Tim is fucking guilty. Like you're suing her because what happened in that situation, Philly Phil had a uh, panel one night and some lady dropped down there who said that she used to go with Miss Robbie's husband's brother or some shit like that. Mo, he said, she said, Mo, mess, more real shit though. Anyway, the lady spilled all the tea on there and talked about all kinds of things from the past and Miss Robbie didn't appreciate that shit. So she's suing Philly Phil. It's crazy though. You got to be careful on YouTube. Is it worth it sometimes? You know what I mean? You, you really don't have freedom of speech. You think you do. You really don't. Like you really better watch what the hell you saying about people and two people. Mm-hmm. Also, let's get back to this racism shit. How is it that y'all allow Jason Lee to say he's a black man and he's not? I don't give a damn. Now, now he said his mom was white. No, he said his mama black. That's why he uses the N-word all the time. He throw that shit out there just like people say hello. It's all day, all day, every day, right? But y'all let him get away with that bullshit. And it is bullshit. And he's allowed to say it, and he claims to be black, but yet Jason Lee and Cardi B could walk into any room, and they're not identified as black. Never. Also, y'all was mad at Mariah Carey because she didn't claim black because her daddy was black, but her mama was white, even though she looked white. She just had, like, kinky hair, and y'all wanted her. Y'all was mad because she said that she was German, Italian, and all these other things, just like they all do. They all are allowed to be what they are. It, the world is not strictly black and white anymore. You have to remember, when these rules were written, these, this is 100 years ago. Hello? This is only in America. An African woman pointed that out to me. She said, only in America do y'all stress that black and white thing. People don't do that in other parts of the country. Yes, racism exists everywhere, but they don't break it down like, you know, how we, everything is black or white. They ask you that shit on an application. Why does it matter? Oh, we, we doing it for demographic and statistical reasons. No, the fuck you're not. You want us to check off if we're black and white, but yeah, y'all don't track police killings. Go on Google and try to look up the number of police killings. You won't find them. Also, I want to have another uncomfortable conversation. And I'm just going to put this out there because it's just who I am as a person. Y'all know that I make people uncomfortable at times too, because that's who I be, right? Okay. <sighs> This is about Shanquilla Robinson. No way does she deserve what happened to her. And I'm not saying that. This is a disclaimer off the rip. But I'm going to ask a question that everybody should ask. And you need to ask yourself these questions too. Depending on who you run with and who your peoples is. And who's calling your phone. And who you sitting with. And, 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 and what you co-signing. Okay. This is the question that you have to ask yourself. First of all, I want to say. The people that she was with were the most fucking horrible people that you could ever imagine, that you could ever want to be associated with. And so these people didn't get that way um, on the trip. Correct. Right. I would love to know the background. Who is Shanquilla? Like, do y'all remember the movie Heathers with Winona Ryder? Watch that shit today. It's on Netflix. I mean, it's on YouTube. It's free. 
But um, I, can, I watched it so long ago. Y'all know I'm old. I'm 50. 50 plus at this point. But um, yeah. So so they was all mean girls. And then, and then this dude got involved. And then they all turned on each other. And then people started turning up dead. Okay. Like they, they killed off the whole clique. Right. Was that the one with the killing them with the God stoppers and all of that? Right. So it's that to me. So my thing is you got to ask yourself, who are you? If you hanging out with a bunch of fucked up people, are you fucked up too? It's a hard question to ask, but you know, because here and now and today you have the opportunity to make change before things go really left. You know what I mean? And I, and, and I get that it's bigger than YouTube, but I also find it interesting that, you know, people are obsessed with the Shanquilla Robinson case when, when many of them are the people in the room, the people that hurt Shanquilla and the people who did what they did. Uh, many of the people are that many of the people gang up on and bully and do disgusting things to people and blackmail people and torture people, because then there was something said about a tape. But what I also thought was interesting was that so okay, so somebody said allegedly there was a tape and she and Quilla caught two of the people, two of the guys engaging in the sexual act, right? And then allegedly they weren't gay, but when I immediately I assumed that they were all gay, the dudes. So I'm confused about that. See, I don't need people to tell me. I have a friend, the one who got stabbed up. He gets mad when people say that he's gay. I don't get that shit. I don't understand it because I guess because I'm not gay, so I don't get it. But people can tell sometimes, like right off the rip. Like it's just something that, you know, like I have two male cousins who, they're three actually. And, you know, my family act like they don't know what time it is. That's okay. And then when I say it, I'm looking like I'm crazy to them. But I mean, come on, these motherfuckers got to know what it is, right? Okay. I'm sure it's more than that. But anyway. Mm -hmm. He gets mad. People get angry about it. So off the rip, when I saw the guys, I automatically said, oh, they like dudes, period. Excuse me. So it's just some more backstory. And then the other thing that was interesting is I haven't seen it. I'm not going to say it's not out there, but have we seen the videos of her friends, her other friends coming out? Like, were those her only friends? Like, just some shit ain't adding up here, right here, right now. Because I want to know what was really good. Like, even in that picture that we all, you know, I have one posted on one of my thumbnails of her. With no shirt on, with the Gucci pants on. You know, it's just, I want to know more about her as a person. Because this is sad. But it's real. And a lot of young ladies are in this situation. And this Shanquilla Robinson situation is not a new situation. It happens constantly. But that's why I'm confused about why people act like they've never heard a story like this before. You've got to be kidding me when a lot of y'all are the people in the room. And a lot of y'all know is Shanquilla Robinson. The fir my first knowing, well, shit, I've known her many before. But my daughter is named after a young lady who was a friend of mine's sister who was killed, well, basically, I say that it was connected, but they stomped her down on the last day of school. She was a freshman. She was tiny. These girls in a clique jumped her and beat her up because they was jealous. And guess what? On the first day of school, the following school year in September, school ends in June, school started September, she fell dead in the kitchen of an aneurysm. And you can't tell me that those two situations were not connected. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah, this shit goes on. There's another young man named Matthew Kassab. I remember he he was small and he was attacked, a little white boy, and they kicked and beat him. And it was my landlord's grandson was involved in that. This is back in 91, like 90. They did it at high school, right? And the boy was on, oh my God, it was terrible and tragic what happened to him. Matthew Kassab. Did I say Michael is Matthew? Um... But he ended up dying and they ended up charging them with his murder later on. You know what I'm saying? Like this happens. Bullying is real, but people need to acknowledge that they're fucking bullies. There's a lot of adult bullying that goes on too. Hence workplace violence. People bully and then when they get fucked up, nobody act, people act like they don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? I mean, I straight up told the people at my job, I said, you know, Y'all condone this kind of bullshit because you don't do anything about it. You're responsible. You're responsible. 
What the hell is HR for if you ain't going to help people? You're responsible. That's all you, bitch. It is what it is. But you have to do what's right for you and you have to know better. But you also, you know, like they said, birds of a feather flock together. Show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. If you're not like the people that you're sitting around and you should get your ass up and leave the table immediately. Because some things just don't add up. Like I said, why are you out with all these trifling ass people? You must be trifling too. Like if I know somebody who hang out with a bunch of thieves, you, I know your ass is a thief too. You ain't got to steal shit from me to know that you're a thief. Right. Common sense will tell me that you're just like them people that you're sitting with. Because you should be appalled by people stealing. Right. I am. You can't come around me. You can't come to my house. I don't leave my purse around. I don't put my car. My, my purse ain't never in the back seat in my car. Hello. I don't give a damn who back there. You know what I'm saying? And my kids know better. I don't play that stealing shit. I don't, I have, I will, what? No, 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 no. So, right. Birds of a feather f stick together. So I just want to know what went left and when. And because those people are evil. And I really want to know more about Shanquilla. And I also want people, in my opinion, they need to shut the fuck up. It's too much talking going on. Way too much talking going on. Like, the the family needs to shut it down. Everybody needs to shut it down. There's a lot of speculation and guessing and going on. And we just need, just let the, let the people do their job. They know who did it. They have the evidence. They have the video. And thank God that people love to film themselves. Because they got all the evidence that they need. You know what I mean? And then people were like, well, the Mexican authorities and all of this and all. Listen, let the people do their job. Because it's just so much talking going on. And he said and she said and people are reporting this and reporting that. It's like, I don't know. It's just not right. It's not right. The same way they released uh, Quavo, you know, his, his incident on the internet. It wasn't right. We do too much. We do too much. Like, it's crazy. But anyway, those are my thoughts for this Saturday. What else is going on? Um... Oh, I'm going to do a video later on a 15-year-old girl that was killed out in Ohio. And this is what I'm talking about. I put the video on my community board. Yo, it is a shame. Her name is Lovely Jenkins, right? 15 years old. Beautiful little girl. But the fight that happened, there was a fight at a park. And the mother said, and I've heard other people say, the park is safe. Since when is the park a safe place? I ain't never known the park to be safe. I wasn't never allowed to go to the motherfucking park. Okay. I told you I live my life on high alert and neither was my kids. They used to be mad. But when I take them, I take them and I sit with them. But the park ain't nowhere for you to be, especially at... I don't even want to say this because, you know, I'm black too. But the reality is I don't go to events. I don't go to basketball games. I don't go to cookouts where I know people are going to be out there with guns and all of that. Because where there's smoke, there's fire. Okay. So if you're out there and you know ninjas out there smoking and they playing loud music and they talking loud and somebody going to get it, any of that type of shit that could possibly pop off, I don't do it. Because somebody got a gun. Some crazy little mofo got a gun. And it's young kids nowadays. So anyway, there was a brutal fight. Lovely was just at the park. An 18-year-old boy shot a gun and killed her. Beautiful. She looked like my little sister, actually. Um, Hurt my heart. But it's happening every day. And then we, we're, we're focused on Shanquilla Robinson, but I want y'all to get focused and start posting and talking about all the, our little black girls that are being hurt for no reason, right? 15. Then, I, then did y'all see the two women, 21 years old in Alabama, that were murdered by the 15-year-old boy? What is he doing with a gun? What were they arguing about? He's 15. Please tell me. You can't even have a conversation with someone and disagree. It's the same, like I said on here, when you disagree and they dox you. It's the same thing. You hurt people. You got to be careful. You got to separate. You got to love one you. You got to roll solo for dolo, baby. I keep telling y'all. These people are crazy out here. And you don't know who got a gun. You just don't. And all the children. I'm going to assume that all children have one. Should you get into an altercation? And some of y'all better watch your own damn kids, too. You better check their rooms. You better flip them beds. You better go in the drawer and pull out the drawer and look behind and all in the closet and look, look, look. 
Search your shit. Search your shit. That's your house. Search your shit. We got we to gotta get control back some way, somehow. Where are these children getting all these weapons from? Why? Where are they keeping them? These are not, we ain't talking 17-year-olds. We're talking 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds. What is going on? They have no conflict resolution skills because all they see is people arguing and fighting and threatening each other. That is normal in our community. We have to stop making that normal. We must do better. We got to save the children. If we don't, who will? They don't have the tools to save themselves. When we were growing up, we weren't afraid of a lot of the element that these kids have to deal with today. Like, I, I, I will admit, around my age is when the shooting started, when I was coming out of high school. Like, 17, lost a lot of uh, friends to gun violence. Facts. And it just has continued and continued, but it was amongst older people. But now it's children. What? Hold up. 